the cape. cape. Yeah, because yeah. of the blue cape. Yeah. yeah. It, it's more of a blue color, I feel like, the overall tone. We're anyways, going to we Battlefield game one for game one. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll immediately retreating to that ledge, trying to cover the landing of Eon. But Eon immediately is just using that side beat to get out of the situation. Going after Fallen, and now Fallen sitting at 81 quickly after a couple up airs. Eon with a great combo coming out on Ido. That's uh, we're gonna see a ton of that, of course. With Ido being K rule, he's gonna be able to tank tank a lot of these hits, and he has a lot of armor if he can properly space himself. Create yeah, that but wall. against these two characters, it's actually gonna be quite yeah. oh, difficult no. for Ido to try to get back to yeah. the stage and like even just get his footing. That's because K rule being such a big body, gonna take a lot of damage. It looked like Ido lost the stock there too, like a buffered air dodge. Um, yeah, but luckily he was able to clip Cookie Slayer with the propeller, got that stage spike. Okay, red team cleaning up shop, having a stock lead, and Ido already sitting at 124. This K rule is just not allowed to play the game at the moment. And the flip side back air coming out from Fallen, getting that stock, not looking too bad. Fallen, I mean, uh, Eon is really just kind of all over the place. I mean, he is the main aggressor, the fastest character on the field, so he has that capability to just kind of go in and out on both sides. Okay, I got a little scared for Fallen there. Air dodging off the stage, but luckily still able to go ahead and make it back. That boomerang lingering, making it difficult for Idol to try to get a proper edge guard, and Eon not worried about it. Runs up with that up smash, cleaning up the stocks. No, Red Team's approach to this is actually really good. They're allowing Ido to just go off stage and yep. just keeping him there at the lid. Not even trying to edge guard. They're like, okay, you have a very limited amount of options to get yourself off of here. You could just stay there. This yeah. is fine. I'm just going to go after your teammate instead. Absolutely. And and Zan has been taking those opportunities to edge guard him as well, which I like. He hasn't wasn't really like uh, instilled any fear when he got stage spike the last time. He knows he can make it back. Uh, most of the time. Oh, there goes the down air, and that's going to be the hit for Eon. Uh, down to their final stocks for red team. Yeah, but you see Blue Team having a slight stock advantage, but I'd say it's really a stock very, and very a half. Because like, you see Fallen sitting at 133. Even if Ida loses his stock and he takes it away, one good hit will take it away from Fallen. Ooh, now stage then has to be careful. Okay, good early up beat him, gets back to the stage. Now another reason why I feel like Ido uh, can live so long too in the, in the doubles format, why K rule is so strong in a doubles format, is because he, a lot of his moves are armored. However, now I'm starting to see the uh, armor mechanic come a little bit more into play. I see more cracks in his belly than I would in a singles match. So it's yeah. very interesting. No, I'm really when those cracks start coming, uh, that really just tells the K rule player to really lay yeah, off exactly. on the amount of armor moves, just so you don't get broken. And when you're, you, you use less of those armor moves, you actually end up recovering your armor capabilities. Yeah, exactly. All right, so 2v1 situation now for Fallen, trying to make this happen. It's going to be quite difficult against these two characters, but he ends up getting a back though. Favorable positioning, but Eon, great awareness, just ends up going high. Wants to make sure he doesn't get edge guarded. Uh, down there, not going to connect into anything. Using these platforms to his advantage, but now it's quite difficult yeah. for him to land. This is a 2v1, but I mean, Fallen with a slight advantage here, all he has to do is make them come to him. Playing really safe around the ledge there. Yeah, Rising Neutral Air ends up being a trade. Does not want that at the moment. But, you know, doing quite well here in the 2v1, putting up a fight, really just being cautious Ooh. with the options that he picks, because he knows one errant move will spell doom for him. Oh my goodness, up air barely off the mark. I think if, forward, if you end up doing forward air, it might have connected nope. just because it ends up going forward a little bit. No fear from Fallen at all. <laughs> you know, toss a couple of those thunders, really test the shield of his opponent. But both members of the red team now sitting at <laughs> over 100%. That was such a funny interaction. So that he actually lost, he used up all of his uh, Great L wind. And the book hit Eon as he recovered. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Ends up getting that back air. Fallen in a great position. Trying to take it away. And he does two back airs for each member of the red team. Idol just laughing. Sitting there like, you know, I'm getting carried. I'm okay with this. <laughs> I think, I, think I, I attribute a lot of that happening to... 
to that book really coming in that clutch during his recovery at the, at the very end because I felt like the down smash. I felt a two frame coming from Eon, but the book just thwarted his plans and just. It was calculated. He is a he is a master. No, I, I, I he is a master that. tactician. Absolutely, mm -hmm. I do believe that was calculated. Like, there's no way that was an accident. That was too clean. Way too perfect. Got route ten. <laughs> okay, respect. Yeah, but wow, what song. what a comeback a from Absolutely. the blue team there. I, I honestly, it was looking pretty grim. Yeah, I mean, there were there were key plays, and all, to me. I believe that down air that Ida was able to land before his stock went away to take to take away Eon's second stock played so much just because it put Eon back to his last stock and it put them up by one stock very slightly. But we're going to Kalos now here in game two, but it's looking like a replay of game one at the moment. Ida taking so much damage in the early goings. Uh, it really just comes down to red team, but they're able to take it away. Because when you allow this King K rule to live to about 120, 200%, yeah. as we've seen time and time again, he's going to make you pay. Yeah. Because at that point, like, K rule's not really too afraid of dying. He's got armor moves after all. Uh, and he's just going to be able to utilize that rage, even if it is toned down. And the forward is still not going to do it. Carlos, you know, pretty, pretty decently big stage. Uh, but the down air calling out the jump get up and the up smash on the side of the red team. Red team now taking a two stock lead. Oh, I love this combo coming out. I mean, that's like pretty, I feel like pretty free on K roll potentially if you get that combo started with the down tilt. Leads to so many follow ups. Look, there it is again. Just from coast to coast. Zan. Oh. Yeah, Co Cookie Slayers so, is having a great time right so, now. Oh, so he's having fun. He's having fun. Uh, this neutral is coming from Idol, not leading to too much. Cookie Slayer trying to lead it up with that back air, not going to land. And he's that still getting so much damage right now. That was a brilliant fast fall from Zan, from uh, Cookie Slayer as well to get really, really low, avoid a potential punish from Ido, and still make it back to the stage. All right, there we go. Two back airs, but he ends up catching oh his God. teammate as nah, well, taking unfortunately. Everyone. Taking everyone with him. Yeah, but this could be just what the blue team needed to get themselves back into this game right now. Zan backing off, trying to find these neutral airs, but again, Fallen coming in, trying to get these setups, but that's one thing you have to look out for when you're going against a young Link, and even just any of the Links, when they go for that, or Link and young Link specifically, because they end up bouncing off yeah. their down airs. Yeah, it has a bit of a pogo effect. You know, good up air. Go ahead and catching that air dodge anyway, that up air lasting for years. Down smash. Still not high enough percent in the back air. Still not gonna do it. The blue team in a very dangerous spot. Both of them off stage. Oh Man. no. Oh my god. Oh my god. He didn't take both of them with him on that one. Yeah, no. Right, I don't end up going a little bit too low. Should we recover? Oh, he went the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, well, nonetheless, worked out. Cookie Slayer and Eon. Making some plays to pull himself back into the set. Now we're gonna have an even scoreboard one to one. So we're gonna get a few more games between these two players here. Uh, <laughs> that was that was crazy. A thousand hey, battles. Hey, let's go. Let's go. I'm surprised that's only been a thousand battles played on that, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, but <laughs> there we have the red team answering right back immediately, uh, taking that game, evening up this set, going into a pivotal game three right now. Let's go. Whoever wins this is gonna go up on a two-one advantage. Now that counter pick advantage. And there we have Idol switching over to the pit, understanding, El oh, Croco Blanco is not going to be enough right now. El oh, Croco Blanco. <laughs> <laughs> Did you come up with that yourself, man? Uh, no, it's, 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 it's been said for the longest time. <laughs> that's the first time I heard it. That's what uh, uh, Idol and Fallen and I Croco refer to Blanco. it. Oh. Okay, going over to Stadium. See how this is gonna go. Eon's just waiting in the back, allowing Cookie Slayer, keeping up the neutral layers, making sure both members of the blue team stay at this ledge. Yeah, I mean, re really for the blue team, the pit is gonna give Idol another disjoint. He's gonna be able to actually combo uh, quite a bit 
on the members of the red team and even just the edge guarding capabilities. K rule, usually he's gonna go out there and try to look for a back air, look for that neutral air, forward air possibly. But now with the pit, you can come out there, try to go ahead and get a spike and just harass off stage and also a better recovery. I mean, Fallen trying to come up here with a save. Uh, Zan was really all over Ido there, getting every single edge guard he possibly could. But worked out. Fallen came to save the day. Yeah, Ido coming in with two dash attacks, one hitting Cookie Slayer, then the other hitting Eon to save Fallen. So great stuff, and there we have it. The blue team getting the first blood this time around. Yeah, still very, very high damage right now. Gonna lose two stocks. Yeah, that's two stocks gone. Yeah, gone just like that. So even though they were in the lead, the tides can turn around real quick. Yeah, Cookie Slayer still holding on after that yeah. hit from the blue team. Not gonna be enough yet. He's playing really aggro too, making sure to keep the pressure up. Not trying to lose his stock yet, just yet. I like that he's applying pressure before he starts to play a little defensively a little bit again. Now he realizes he needs to maintain this stock. He's still going for these uh, deep edge guards. Great pickup from Fallen there with the back air. No, and honestly, I feel that's the name of the game, especially with a character like Young Link. Uh, really, that up B going so much further than a lot of the other links in this game, you can actually oh, go ahead and just go out there to try to make some things happen. It's ridiculous. I like that charge S smash. Just get fallen off stage. Really good. Well, neutral uh, are going to get clipped out, and the upper going to clean it up. Eons is having the recognition immediately off that up tilt. There goes the downer. Oh, he's not going to get the sweet spot, though. It's just two edge guards going back and forth on both sides of the screen. And there I was talking about Edmund, that up B, such a great option. Going so high and just going clean over Ido. Yeah, Fallen right now, just trying to look to where he can unleash the Thoron, but does not want to hit his teammate, especially since Ido is on his last stock. Oh, oh, oh. And the reflect immediately, Eon just scouting it out. Yeah, great reaction there. Uh, player Eon and known to have incredible reactions. One of those players that never misses a tech, put it like that. I don't have any difficulty landing right now. Eon just on the hunt. Side B from Ido taking Eon off the top. Oh my Red goodness. team so close stocks. to getting the stock right there. But now you have Fallen actually running out of the Elwyn. Zan at really high damage with two, only person with two stocks intact so right now. Yeah, but Ido also sitting at very high percent and while just losing it straight up to that neutral air at the ledge. Can he do it again, Miho? Can he bring this back? Oh no, it's going to be believe? quite rough. He doesn't have all the platforms in his favor and, ooh, okay. Able to sneak by. Yeah, it was a little late reaction right there coming out from Cookie Slayer. I thought he was going to go for a smash attack. Right, great deep recovery. I love it. Reversal back air. Another back air. Oh, not Zan land just harassing with the downers on stage. Gatsu, such a long oh. lasting hitbox. And speaking of hitboxes, there we have the Elwyn coming out. It's, it's not entirely out of question. If he can get the Fox off stage, Gimp him. No, no, that's it. No, just, just hold on this time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care how hold much, this. how well you can go ahead and mash. Hold Sitting this. at 150, it's going to be a quick stock to go ahead yeah. and take away. Absolutely. And just like that, Eon and Cookie Slayer moving up 2 1 in this set. One final game away from moving in and sitting pretty in grand finals. Uh, I'm not sure who is on the other end, but neither team here wants to go down there and meet them this early. Oh, we, we don't know who's going to be down there right now. I mean, that we have plenty of other teams yep. down there playing and duking it out. But we will find yeah. out after this set. But you have Eon and Cookie Slayer. After losing that first game to the Fallen Comeback, have really just, you know, calmed it down, composed themselves, and made sure they're rolling right now. Two straight wins, hoping they can make it a third. All right, great combos coming up from Ido. Meanwhile, an edge guard going down on the corner. Yeah, Cookie Slayer making it very difficult for Fallen to get back to this stage. He finally does, but not for long. Immediately right back off.
Yeah, Ido really just wants to get in there, try to help out his teammate, get the follow-up, but unfortunately the way that Red Team has been playing is they look out for one another. So regardless of one hit is being taken from the opposite team, they disengage from whoever they're fighting to try to help them out, to put them in a favorable position instead. Yes, absolutely. And that's like the great mark of a great double team. Right? Like having that situational awareness where you're not only paying attention to yourself and what you're doing with your opponent, but if you can potentially save your opponent from greater harm, keep the stack the stocks intact for longer, it's gonna go a long way in doubles. Yeah, and then we have an Eon taking two stocks immediately. A little errant move right there coming out from Fallen. I thought he was gonna go for that up smash. Try for the forward smash, not gonna connect, but regardless, gonna take that stock away from Eon. Toss out all the projectiles, get any damage that you can, a down throw, okay. But yep, no, just like that I was talking about, Eon just does that grab, throws him off the stage, and then immediately goes over it. Either try to get help his teammate, or get that 2v1. And the blue team looking quite nice right now, has Eon sandwich in between both of them. All right. There you go, you can see Eon disengaging once again to come to Zans. Rescue. There we have Eon one more time, just going high. Does not want to deal with this ledge guard, especially as a spacey. You know, your recovery is very linear. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna run up and up B. I mean, that's an option. Gets follow-ups too. There, the forward smash taking Idol's second stock. Just to be careful, the back air almost on the mark, but that one's sending falling right back off stage. Yeah, even though Ido is in the presence to try to help out Paul and get from this ledge, you have Cookie Slayer there in the back just tossing the projectiles, making it very difficult for Ido even to be a factor. Another upper, bringing it up. Eon, you know, so good at just taking away these stocks. As I said earlier, the red team, I, I just love their team dynamic. You have the young Link in the back, tossing oh, so many projectiles, no. racking up the damage, but Eon immediately coming in and taking those stocks away. Eon. Uh, it's consistently trying to go for these like forward air edge guards, and I believe the uh, fastball fair footstool is not really quite as strong as an option or even an option at all. I, have well, I, I haven't, I haven't seen I have boxes see go for the footstool yeah. portion of it, but they have been going for that fastball fair that just to go sense. ahead and drag down their opponent. Yeah. Because some characters they actually cannot make it back, especially true. when you clip that double jump. It's still a good gimp, yeah. Maybe not a, a guaranteed kill, but if your opponent doesn't have a jump or Ooh, doesn't double execute, backer has Eon right through. back off stage. Oh, oh and going a little bit too deep. Great it's down a down smash. smash. Oh, but he goes all the way back on stage. Fantastic stuff. Meanwhile, Azan picking up a combo on Ido as well. Great neutral air. He's got both of them oh at the God. ledge. They both went to the ledge. Yeah, forward throw. Don't need to be scared of the fox. They're <laughs> just taking turns at the moment, trying to get back. Idol finding his way back upstage, but he ends up going off. Yeah, Neutral Air gonna clean it up. Red Team on the verge of moving on to Grand Finals. But, I mean, with how we've seen Fallen perform, he's been consistently in these 2v1. Oh, it's a re-grab oh. though! Okay, he's still right, not dead. Fallen has a chance. This is very reminiscent of Game 1, Edmund. And he has no more uh, room to tech as well. We saw the Red Sparks come out, so if he gets stage fight like that, he will likely die. He got away from both of them. Oh, my Woo! goodness. Fallen still moving, cooking right now. Going to recover. Oh, he went too low. Oh, oh my goodness. You got to imagine these uh, <laughs> angles for the up B are very difficult in high pressure situations. Nonetheless, uh, good attempt for Fallen and Ido. <laughs> Cookie Slayer and Zan, or Cookie Slayer and Eon going to take it 3-1. So really, really nice stuff. No, no, some fantastic both, both stuff from them. I mean, like teams. I said, three straight wins after losing game of one. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So they, they showed the adaptation really, really well. Um, I mean, what could you say? It really just came down to them sticking to their game plan because it's not like they changed a lot from game one to game two. They still pretty much mm -hmm. resorted to splitting up the other team mm. and disengaging when they needed to, like what we mentioned before, to get a potential save on your partner, uh, keep them from taking more damage and allowing yourselves to live a little bit